I'm Dr Catherine Monaghan. I set up our service in 2016. So patients who are unwell and who would otherwise be in hospital, we can admit them straight into the virtual ward and we look after them entirely in the community. So we deliver the care they need under an expert team of respiratory clinicians. So we really try and stop patients from going into hospital unless they absolutely have to, because patients don't want to be in hospital, but we can provide the care and support that they need without that, without that acute hospital admission. We will come out to see you um, and we are a team, you've never seen us before, so we are a team of nurses and physios who look after patients when they're having a flare-up to keep you out of hospital. So we're just visiting to do a, a planned review, um, see how she's doing, you know, hopefully find that she's improved. Nine times out of ten we review within 48 hours, um, although sometimes we'll actually go back the same day. And we, you know, we might visit on a morning and go back in the evening to, to see how the patient's doing. Mommy, oh, you walking? Hello. Can we come in? Oh, are you a little bit short of breath there? We started you on antibiotics. Is, is that right? A couple of days ago. Yeah. In and out for me, nice and deep. Oh, your oxygen level's really good today, Marion. We'll do your blood pressure next. We look at um, optimising their inhaler therapy. Um, we look at referring on um, to, you know, maybe as a consultant or pulmonary rehabilitation, which is chest physio. Um, we, we can look at reducing those exacerbations as well as being there when they're actually happening um, and just keeping the patients as well as we can, really. They might be admitted to hospital and referred again as like an early supported discharge. So we can go in um, and, and you know, review progress at home following discharge. Um, they mightn't have been discharged if we weren't involved, but because we can provide further support <laughs> following discharge. So what we'll do, I won't, provi I won't prescribe any further treatment today, but we'll come again on Wednesday. We'll have another look at you. We'll do another assessment. They have been marvellous. The way they've looked after me. You're in your own environment, and I think you, you're not as nervous or itch, tetchy and wonder what's happening next. And especially when the girls come and see you, and they tell you what's what, what they're going to do, and you feel so much more at ease. So much more. I think it's a wonderful thing. I do. I really Good. do. Good to hear you. That's because, what I like. Uh, no matter how they try, you know, don't you? There is no way they have more chance of knitting fog than they ever get me in hospital. <laughs> right. no, you can just do what you want. And at the same time, you're getting the care. That's the main thing. You're getting good care.